Hi students, a very good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the very session guys. A warm welcome to everyone. I am Riksha Sharma, your English educator at An Academy and I welcome you all to this very particular session guys. Hi everyone. Hi and good afternoon everyone. Hi Divya, welcome to the very session guys. How are you all doing? A very good afternoon people. How are you all doing? Welcome to the session. A warm welcome to everyone out there. Come on students, share the link with all your friends right away because I am going to share something important with all of you today which is going to be so good for each one of you. Hi everyone, hello Aditya, hi Nikhil, hi Raghav, hello Nikhil, hi everyone. How are you all doing guys? How is it going? I am very well Rishal, thank you so much. Good afternoon everyone, Divya, I am very well, thank you so much. Hi and hello guys. Hi Priya. Hi Raghav. Hi Uma. Hi Tara. Hi Kapir. Hi Andra. Hi Parvati. Hi Kriti. Hi Aditya. Hello Babita. Hello everyone. Hi Akash. Hello students. How are you all doing? Hi and welcome to the session. Come on guys. Share the link with all your friends right away because I am going to share something important with all of you today. Do it right away. Hi Priya. I am very well. Thank you so much guys. Hi Lavisha. Hello students, a warm welcome. Let me give a very brief introduction about myself. You guys know I am Priksha Sharma, your English educator at An Academy, And I am here for all of you to help you excel in your academics as well as in the very language English also when it comes to your communication and the fluency in your language. So students, I've done MA in English and uh, that I have done it from Delhi University. And for the past few years, I've been guiding a lot of students like all of you to excel in everything which is related to English and to score like amazing marks in your academics and to become too good in speaking English as well. So I hope guys, I'm going to help each one of you too. Right, everyone? Yes, students, welcome to the very session. Yes, of course, Ishan, this is too much worthy. Like you guys would get the best. I mean, highly qualified teachers are there who are sitting at an academy and they're going to help you in a super great manner. Hello, everyone. Hi, Palak. Hello, students. Welcome to the very session. Hi, Amit. Hello, people. Welcome, everyone. I welcome you all. Come on, guys. Share the link with all your friends right away. Do it right away. We need to help a lot of students. This is a mandate actually. Very, very important. Good afternoon, people. I hope it's going amazingly. Today is Monday. I hope Monday is going very nicely for each one of you. Okay, students. So now moving ahead, you guys are very well aware of the fact that An Academy is really very helpful in providing 10% discount on An Academy Plus. So guys, what you have to do is you have to be sure that you're going for the right sort of subscription because flat 10% off would be given to each one of you. We want to take care of each and every student. We want to make them completely amazing in their respective subjects. So students go for it and we have got this telegram channel. I'm sure you guys are aware of it. Okay, if you're not aware of it, then just visit here livedaily.me slash chat. You're supposed to join your very group, which is an academy class 9 and 10. And we share all the updated information here. Okay, whatever sessions they are being planned or whatever we are scheduling, uh, scheduling for all of you, we will come up with it here. So students, make sure that you guys are joining it because all the information, not I mean, not only related to your English, but uh, for the other subjects also, you can go for it. And it's literally amazing. That's good, Vansho. If your vacations are going on, you can study, okay? We can make uh, like very particular and very nice use of this vacation, right, everyone? We can do that. Hi everyone, hello, welcome to the very session students, come on, share the link with all your friends right away. So students, you know that we have got something new that is ask a doubt feature which is specially been designed for all our dear students so that we can help them, right? And what is so amazing about this guys that you can ask us unlimited doubts and when we say unlimited, we actually mean it because you can ask us infinite doubts, whatever doubts you guys are coming across. And you can ask doubts at any time, okay? Like for example, just an example, if you're listening to music and suddenly it pops in your mind that I want to get clarity on one of the topics which is not really clear to me, then you can post your doubt there and then itself obviously you guys would have to stop the music then only you can ask us doubts but what i'm stating here is you can ask anytime irrespective of the fact that whether it's day night or morning or noon anything okay everyone this is very i mean interesting right guys and you will get high quality video solutions also that is 
we are going to provide you the solutions in both the languages in english as well as in hindi if you think something is not making sense to you in hindi we are going to provide in english and if the, if you think that the subject is not exactly clear to you in the english language then you can actually ask i mean you can ask for it in whatever language that is so clear to you we are going to provide you in both the languages and you'll receive the exact matches for your questions as well whatever you guys are going to ask us we are going to provide you the same and the exact thing and you will obtain instant and accurate solution to lakhs of questions guys when we say lakhs of questions we mean it because we all are here we all are concerned about you and we will be helping you hi everyone hi amrendra hello guys hi vandana i welcome you here hi manya i welcome you here hi pratishtha i welcome you here welcome to the very session guys come to the session guys and understand what i'm trying to tell all of you and students you will get assistance with your homework as well what else you need right so what are the steps guys step one is click on ask a doubt feature in your app and step two is take a picture or choose from gallery all right like whatever question is you have to choose it from your gallery then step three is click or select a picture of your very question the question which is not clear to you so that we would get a clarity that this is something you want to ask us but then there's a step four that you're supposed to highlight one specific question okay why because it becomes so easy for us that this is your query and this is the solution that we are supposed to provide to all of you okay it doesn't create any chaos i am sure guys you also don't want any chaos in your life so that is why it is quite important that you understand the very importance of cropping and highlighting the question i am very well raghav thank you so much guys and step 5 everyone choose a subject that the question falls under if it's math or if it's science okay and step 6 is just sit very tight and we are going to give you the solution in just few minutes everyone okay so students what are the do's and don'ts you understand very well that whenever there is something that you need to follow there are always do's and don'ts right everyone i hope everyone understands this so correctly correct so students step one is like post only one doubt at once that doesn't mean that you cannot ask us multiple doubts you can very well do that but here the thing is that if you are going to just post one doubt in one single image that is going to be way more helpful for us because it doesn't create any chaos right we don't want any chaos in life right everyone we don't want it right and you can post only clear legible images guys make sure that whatever images you are posting they are very very clear they are very very exact as well and capture all the sub options of mcqs if your question has got any mcq make sure that you are capturing all the sub parts and if a question has any sub part also so just make sure you are posting them separately and not as a part of the same image and post printed text only guys this is important and post doubts using an academy app only and guys please don't go for any multiple doubts in a single image okay just don't go for it and do not post any handwritten questions blurred images or incomplete question why do you guys need to create any confusion for us right we don't want it i am very well jaykishan thank you so much hi ritika hello welcome to the very session hi abhi i am very good jaykishan thank you so much i hope that you are good too right okay students so an academy subscription features guys you know that we are all here to help you out in the very correct manner so that you excel very well in the given subject so you get to learn live from the comfort of your home right you get unlimited access to all the courses as an in infinite access would be given to you i'm sure you guys understand the meaning of access that you guys can actually get the knowledge of whatever course you want the only thing is that you have to take the subscription that is more important and students top educators of india would be there on just one single platform like as in highly qualified teachers who are here for all of you to teach you in the very correct manner and regular doubt clearing and answer writing sessions would also be there guys this is super important okay the today session is going to highlight this very particular point only that how are you going to improve how are you going to improve when it comes to the very subject or language english so you know that doubts they must be very very cleared when it comes to understanding the concepts especially when it is grammar and writing it becomes ultimate important thing because you have to write the exact like the uh, the entire paper in the language english right everyone you know this very well correct and then we will cover the uh, syllabus also i mean i mean exhaustive coverage of the entire syllabus when i say exhaustive i mean that i'm going to cover each and everything whatever word would be there in your very uh, book in your ncert book apart from that whatever additional things they are required obviously we are going to take care of each and everything for all of you and mentorship and guidance this is what we are here for right we will mentor you we will guide you so that you understand everything by heart okay 
and study material would be given to you that is pdf format i mean basically the study material would be provided to each one of you in the pdf format so you know that highly qualified teachers are there and you're going to study from their per, uh, personal notes and their respective notes and practice day students practice makes a man perfect okay today i'm going to highlight on this very point as well that when you need to excel in english you need to practice and then life day series would be there and batch courses would also be there for all of you so what you have to do is you have to select the plan which suits you very well okay we have got different plans for different durations three months six months 12 months and so on as in like five uh, 15 months 18 24 36 and 48 so guys what you have to do is that you have to select one plan which is very much suitable for you let's say if you go for 18 months the actual cost is 20,000 guys but using my code psh10 will give you 10 percent discount and the cost will be 18,000 so students when you are going to calculate on a monthly basis you will see that this is going to be so very much nominal okay it's not going to be too expensive all you guys have to do is you have to select the right price for yourself you have to select the right thing for yourself because this is the right time you have to start studying right from the beginning of your sessions guys make sure you are selecting the right thing similarly we have got iconic you know what does what does iconic mean guys iconic is something which is super unique which is going to be literally amazing and is one in itself right so here in iconic subscription you are going to get a lot of benefits because you will get a personal mentor okay personalized attention would be given to you we would be taking care of each and everything that you want to ask us so one-on-one -on -one interaction would be there guys live doubt solving sessions would be there for all of you whosoever is facing the doubt and if you come across any of the problems which is so very much major for you the teacher would be right there for all of you weekly reports you would come to know how well you're performing with the subject and parent connect we will connect with your parents also okay they should also know that how well you're doing with the subject and study planner you know planning is always needed do you guys uh, believe in planning or not come on guys do you believe in planning or not come on tell me come on come on thank you suman thank you so much do you believe in planning or not come on this is very much needed no like if you're going on a trip you plan everything i want to wear this i want to wear that i want to keep this i will i don't want to keep that i should be going here first and then later on i'll be going there right this is what we do right so students planning is very much needed in life like whatever you are doing even if you are planning to make something like such a delicious meal in your lunch so you plan for that that tomorrow i am going to cook this right we need planning in like everything in our lives guys so that is what like study planner would be given to all of you because once you will start studying according to a plan you will definitely excel in your life yes everyone is saying yes that is such a common thing uh sunrise i'll be taking care of that okay in my upcoming sessions i'll take care of it planning is so important yeah ashish very good very nice so that is the thing students in iconic subscription you'll be getting a lot of like amazing things also you will also start learning that how well i mean that how is it supposed to be learned the right way okay like later in your life if you want to teach someone and you want to guide or mentor someone you can actually use the things and all the knowledge that is being provided to you at this very particular stage right and all benefits of an academy subscription guys so you see that there are other benefits and along with that all the benefits that are included in your an academy subscription would also be a part of your iconic one so go for it guys select the right price for yourself make sure that you are having your personal mentor for yourself and your personal favorite mentor who is going to guide you in the very correct manner okay so we have got different plans guys let's say if you go for 24 months the actual price is forty eight thousand. but using my code psh10 will give you 10 percent discount and the cost will be forty three thousand two hundred. okay so make sure guys that you're selecting the best for yourself hi nikki hello welcome to the very session hi everyone no education today there is no special class students i'll be sharing the schedule of special class with all of you in the coming uh, week okay i'll do that towards the end of this week or by the starting of the next week all right i will definitely be doing that yes sanjeet yes okay students so go for the right thing select the right pricing for yourself because when you guys are going to calculate it on the monthly basis you will actually see that this is going to be too nominal okay you'll be getting a lot of benefits and you'll actually excel in your subject like in your practical life as well and in your uh, academics as well
Okay, everyone. So 10% off is there on Unacademy Plus and Iconic subscription PSH10 is the code. Use it. Download the Unacademy app right away, guys. Follow me there, okay? I am there by the name. Obviously, you guys know my name, Preksha Sharma. Follow me there because I'll be coming up with the special classes for all of you soon. And I, you will be getting updates from me if you're following me there on the app. So download it right away. Get it on Google Play or on the App Store. Try all of these features for free. Use the code PSH10, guys, and let's crack it the right way. Okay, you guys need to learn it the right way. Jay Kishan, I'll be sharing the schedule soon. Either I'll be sharing it uh, like uh, towards the end of this week or by the starting of the next one. Okay, guys, so we have got an amazing session today. I hope you guys have hit the like button. Is it or not? Have you guys liked the session or not? Come on, like it if you haven't yet. And share it with your friends. I want to share the information with a lot of students so that they can work on this right from today. Come on, guys. Did you do it or not? Yes, that's good. That's good. Basu Mehra. Okay, it's Basu Mehra. Basu Mehra. Sorry. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Come on. Yeah. So you have hit the like. Very good, Ritika. That's good, guys. Like we should aim it. Like we should aim for more numbers, guys. All right. So you guys are going to do it right today. Okay, everyone. So now I'm going to start with this very particular thing as in how are we supposed to improve English speaking skills? Okay, so can you guys tell me like I would also let's have a chit chat sort of a thing. Okay, just tell me that what do you guys think? Like how can we improve it? What are the different ways that we can do? Thank you guys. Thank you for hitting the like button. Uh, once you got dear, the thing is the session is about English and I'm using very simple English so that all my dear students, they can understand me. If you think that you're not understanding something, let me know about it. I'll simplify my language more. Okay, everyone. All right. Okay. You are saying by practicing. Okay. By reading newspaper. Very good. What are the other things to communicate in English? All right. Okay. By speaking in everyday life, very good. You guys are actually aware of it. That's very nice. Confidence. Confidence would come later on, Gurdeep. It will come when you will start practicing it. Right? Isn't it? By practicing. So a lot of, by solving mistakes. Okay. That's also right. But for that, again, someone has to speak. Right? For you. And like English news channels. All right. By watching English content. Right, Kapish? Like by talking to American. All right. Can, can't you talk to a Canadian? We can, right? And grammar is very necessary, Suvash. I mean, this is the important thing. Like your English is all about grammar. If your grammar is not perfect, how can you go ahead with it? Right? That's good, Rahul. That's very nice. If you know it already. By watching movies and shows. All right. And communicating with my family members. Jai Kishan, that's very good. Okay, by studying. Okay, yeah, obviously an academy is going to help you guys. English songs, that's good. High five to you. Even I listen to a lot of them. Yeah, reading books. So a lot of you are already aware of the fact that we need to practice. We need to listen. We need to write. We need to read. Right? This is what you guys are telling me, right? Right? This is the right thing, guys. You are already aware of it. But being just aware of it is not the thing. I mean, we are aware of a lot of things. But unless and until you, are, you guys are not implementing it, it is not going to be so helpful. Right? It will never help, guys. Even when I started my career and I started learning a lot of things, I used to take it too lightly in my initial days. But later on, when my parents, they started forcing me to actually take it on a very serious level, then I actually understood that, yes, it's important, like knowing things, like if I know that I need to read or I need to write or I need to practice, unless and until, I mean, I was only aware of it, unless and until I started doing all that, then, then I had started learning that, yes, this is how you will improve. So let's see what I have for all of you guys. You need to understand the need. What is the need? Why do you need to improve it? Why do you need to improve it, guys? What do you guys understand about it? Yeah, we have to implement also, Jai Kishan. That's very right. That is very right. That is very, very right. Thank you, Vabhav. Thank you so much, guys. Tense understanding. We know that is like an ultimate point that you have told right now. This is again a part of grammar. But tenses, they are very, very important. That is very right. 
Yeah, so by knowing the meanings of words, yes, Subhash, vocabulary, it is important. This is very, very important. Meaning of words, English things, to understand English things, that is right. That is what the need is, right, Pratika? You are very right about it. Like whatever is given in the very language English, you need to understand that, right? You need to understand. Vocabulary, day-to-day -day life, that is very important. That is like super important, guys. You need to use that. So my students, they are already aware of a lot of things. And Samya, Samya, sorry, Samya Chaudhary, very right, that this is one of the global languages, guys, right? Yeah, Mirza, that is very right. You can go for a diary entry. So you have to write on a daily basis. You guys are already aware of it. So are you people even working on that? Come on. Are you guys even working on that? Dictionary, Riga, this is what I want to like stress on. It's not the thing that you can just take a dictionary and you're learning five words from dictionary on a daily basis. This is literally not going to work, guys, because the thing is, you will think that you're learning new words, but you're not using them. You're unable to use them on a very daily basis. So keep it journal. Keep it very, very journal. If you're trying to force in learning certain words from the dictionary itself, then that is not going to help you. Like you may remember the words for quite a few time. Uh, sorry, for quite some time. Okay, but you will not remember them in a very long run. This is a global language. Very good, guys. So this is what my point here is, guys. See, this like your English. It is one of the international languages, okay? Like we need to communicate globally. You know, there are a lot of languages in the world. We have got French. We have got German. We have got Spanish. And there are another different languages also. You have got Tamil. You have got Bengali, all right? So there are different languages. But what is one global language? That is one language which connects you with the different parts of the world that is English. All right, guys, that is what the language is. Students, basically here, what I'm trying to make you all understand is that English is just one of the languages which connects you with the different parts of the world. Okay, here I'm not telling you that your communication is different. Okay, students, see, like there's a very known myth okay, and I'm sure you guys are also aware of this very particular myth that if you are aware of the language English, your communication is good. Do you think this way or not? Come on, guys. Do you guys think this way or not? Yeah, that's right. That's right, Basumahera. That's right. So, guys, come on, tell me. Do you believe in this? That if your English language is good, your communication is good? Yes or no? Yes or no? Let me see that how many yes I am getting. Come on. By reading newspaper, Mirza, that's very good. You are aware of it. Yes or no? Come on. Shruti, I'm coming to that, okay? I always share my personal experiences with all my students, okay? Don't be worried about the fact that I'm not going to share the facts that how are you guys going to improve? Yes. Okay, so somebody is saying no. Yes, a lot of you are saying yes. No, guys, the answer is no. Okay, the answer is no. Listen to me carefully, please. This is a myth. Okay, it is really not the case. If you know English language, that doesn't mean that your communication is good, guys. English is what? It's just a language. But communication is an art. All right. Like, for example, I'm talking to, to all of you right now and I'm making you explain my ideas, my thoughts. That is what communication is, that you guys are able to understand my ideas, my thoughts. I'm able to convey my very ideas. I'm able to convey the very meaning that I want to tell to all of you. That is what communication is, to make someone understand your thoughts and your ideas. So don't think that if you know English, your communication is very good. No, that is not the case. It's just a myth, okay? Do not go with this thinking that knowing English will make your communication better. That's not the thing. You can communicate in Bengali as well. You can communicate in Gujarati. You can communicate in Kannar. You can communicate in French also. All right, and you can convey your idea. You can convey your very thinking and your thought. Right or no? Come on, tell me. Yes or no, guys? Yes or no? Do you guys agree with me or not now? Are you all understanding what did I just say? That is just a myth. Like when I'm stressing here that you need to improve your speaking skills when it comes to English, the reason is totally different. The reason is that this is one of the languages which connect all of you with the other parts of the world. Okay, there is no barrier between you and someone who is from France. You can communicate with a very common language which is English. Right everyone? Are you all understanding this? That is the point, guys. That is the point, okay? Do not take it this way around that you know English, so you are well-versed with the very language and the communication. These two things are completely different. 
so the entire motive of making you understand that speaking skill as in to improve your skill is important so that you don't feel find any difficulty later in your work culture guys this is the right time that you are growing okay this is the right time that you all are learning what must be learned right and you guys are improving your academics and you are able to write good answers you are getting marks for that but what is the ultimate motive of introducing the subject english in your entire curriculum what is the ultimate motive the ultimate motive is that this is one of the languages that will connect you with someone who is completely foreign or alien to you or to connect with someone whose language is alien to you right clear everyone is it making sense right that's good knowing different languages is good guys right that is good but you guys should understand this that this is something which connects you globally right everyone does agree correct so you all understand okay now next time if someone is going to tell you okay you need to work on the english language so that you improve your communication so make him or her explain that communication is more about conveying the ideas it's not about the fact that i i should be well versed in english or hindi or maths it is just one of the languages that you must be aware of in the correct manner okay everyone clear yes is it making sense very good guys all right so now students before knowing how to improve your english speaking skills know where you actually stand okay i always tell this to all my students that you guys need to know how well you already know okay for example guys if you guys are going somewhere and you are not exactly aware of the route so you may discuss it with someone who is well versed with it okay like you you may be very well uh, i mean you know that your dad is already aware of the route that how are we supposed to reach there so you will consult with him so you know you'll tell him okay dad i know that uh, from here i have to take left turn or from there i have to take a uh, right turn but after that i'm not aware of it so i need guidance for that this is what you do right you self analyze things so you have to do that in the language also start self analyzing once you will start self analyzing guys you will understand where you are lacking okay everyone royal i am not using something which is a very complicated language to understand right now i'm using very simple words if something is not clear to you please ask me i'll simplify my language more right guys i hope guys you guys are understanding me right are you all understanding me yes or no come on this is important i should know that am i able to communicate it clearly guys yes or no we know don't worry you'll improve slowly and gradually just listen to me very carefully okay it's very important that you understand what i'm telling you all because i really want all my students to start learning and developing themselves right from now this is the right time when you guys are in your 9th or 10th grade yes all right thank you for the confirmation guys all right so now moving ahead you guys need to know that where you actually stand okay and for that you have to ask a question to yourself are you a novice what is novice can you please tell me the meaning can you please tell me the meaning come on thank you for the confirmation guys i'm very good gagan thank you so much i hope you are good too what is novice can you tell me jagishan that's good that's a good thing very good you should be doing that thank you nikki thank you so much come on guys nervous no no dream queen hi welcome to the session i didn't say hi to you thank you dream queen right diary entry that's good guys and but too hard talking to teachers that's what i'll be coming to guys you think that your teachers they are in the very position of authority so they will like bite you when you are going to say something uh, wrong that's not the case you know teachers they are always there to help you out okay they will always help you that is never going to be the case that they are going to put a bite on you and they'll be like oh god don't you even know this no they are there to help you that's what the task of a teacher is so students just try to speak even if you are speaking wrong with your teachers or with someone who is elder to you that's okay you are in your learning stage right now and they are there to help you out okay they were also not at uh, like i mean when they were developing they were learning they also used to make mistakes so making mistake is fine it's completely acceptable that is fine okay okay so now uh, students all right yeah very good beginner that's good nikhil and ashita very good so students novice is someone like who is just beginning okay like who is new to something so just uh, like question yourself are you are you very new to the language english or is it can you understand english but not able to speak properly 
is it the case and if these are the case guys then it is really the time for all of you to start working on it all right everyone you have to start working on it yeah beginner that's the thing students when i introduce any of the new words try to learn it right there it's a, that's the best way that is actually the best way okay so students see if you are novice okay then learn basic concepts first this is very important guys if you are completely new to a concept then you have to start learning the basic concepts and you can yourself say this okay you can yourself tell this that whether your concepts are clear or not when i asked some of the reasons like yesterday when i had taken menti i was asking this very particular question that why are you writing the a or n here so what is the reason if you know that you have got a uh, correct and a perfect reasoning for what you are doing so that means your concepts are clear and if you are telling me that yes ma'am it was looking good in the given sentence that is why i filled in it so that means your concepts are not clear so you don't have to keep this illusion in your mind that yes i am well versed with the rules no that is completely okay if you are not you just need to revise it you need to just brush it up that's it all right everyone royal that is okay that is right uh, not a problem so i am sure that you are understanding me right now yes guys right ritika you are saying i'm not able to i am coming to that ritika i'm coming to that guys i'm here for all of you to help you out don't be worried okay because learning english is not something that you learn in just one single day or one week or one month it takes time okay you have to start from the very basic thing from the very root of learning it so this is what i'm telling you just ask this question to yourself and start learning the basic concepts and what are the basic concepts that you have to start learning the rules you have to start formulating very short short sentences all right obviously you guys are in your grade 9 and 10 it doesn't mean that you don't know english at all i'm sure whosoever is listening to me right now is not new to this concept at all okay so students you have to just ask this very particular question okay yeah that is the thing jay kishan that is what i mean all right that you guys need to understand it and if you find difficult to speak then stay tuned everyone till the very end of the session because today i'm going to help each one of you all right i'm going to tell you what are the basic things and what is the actual mantra basically in order to excel in the language okay so stay tuned that is okay satender i'll be telling you how to come with the good pronunciation also okay i'll tell you this okay so just stay tuned everyone i'm going to help you all students one thing is see we need to train our brain on multiple fronts you know knowing english or learning english is not only about learning the rules okay if i am saying okay these are the rules simple present simple past and simple future learn them you have learned it okay you did it on your own but you know what that we get to learn we get to learn a, a lot of things in our lives when we are actually allowing and giving permission to our brain to use different aspects of learning do you understand what i mean see students when you watch someone okay like if you are being told like there there is any sort of machine right in front of you okay and you don't know that how how does it work all right you are not at all aware of it but an engineer is coming to your home and is guiding you that you have to open it from here and then you have to attach these two wires and then you have to plug it you understood what what did you do what did you do here guys what did you do here can you tell me that what are the activities that just took place when an engineer came and he told you that ma'am just look here you have to take this out from this i mean from this very particular portion you have to take this wire from here and you have to attach it to the corner and then plug in what did you do what are your actions what was your body doing then come on tell me what was your body doing then guys did you watch anything did you observe anything did you listen anything did you do anything what did you do come on tell me guys what did you do what will you do when an engineer is telling you that these are the things that you have to do yes you you did something what did you write oh, sorry did you see did you observe did you observe did you see and did you hear him right you'll follow him but what are the different things your brain actually got the information on different aspects he was looking like my brain it was looking at the engineer's hands right i was observing him what was he doing i was listening to him 
okay my eyes they were moving from one direction to another that is what i mean when i say train your brain on multiple fronts on multiple things your brain has the capacity it has the ability to work on like say uh, different things okay like it can work multiple times and it can work on seeing different things simultaneously all right you know this very well guys watching anything yes that is what i mean guys so the thing that i want to explain to all of you here is when you want to master guys when you want to master the very skill when you want to master the, uh, master the skill uh, as in the skill of uh, learning something then you have to have a full proof plan and here is the full proof plan for all of you guys and the first thing that you have to keep in your mind is that you need to read this is one of the very important things like for example when when that engineer had come to fix something in my home then i had read the manual okay so maybe i didn't understand that well maybe i had understand only few things but i did understand right then students writing is also one of the very important things like as everyone was suggesting me that writing is something that help you in improving your speaking skills okay you told me this that that is how you improve your english then watching guys watching see here i watched it okay i was the person who was trying to fix my machine or my electronic device and i learned through it so my brain it worked on a multiple level then listen guys listen to someone or listen to the things that may help you to improve your language okay then speak as well speaking is an ultimate important thing guys okay and then experiment experimenting is very important why it is important guys because that helps you in understanding that whether i was right or wrong all right someone would be there to guide you for sure you're not going to be all alone in experimentation someone would definitely be there guys listening speaking watching uh, rhythm i you have got a good name first and second thing that you said the right thing okay students shruti the thing is students you have to just give half an hour on a daily basis okay you can give half an hour to everything like for example we do yoga we do meditation okay you go for your meals also right you don't skip your lunch breakfast or dinner so you are able to take out time for all that because that is needed for your body similarly it is very much needed for your speaking skills that you at least devote half an hour on a daily basis okay right everyone so now students now the thing is you have to believe in yourself as well at least have some faith all right why not i mean if i'm saying if if somebody is asking will you be able to do it okay i i am like yes definitely so have faith in yourself do not keep any fake faith but believe in yourself that is more important okay everyone nobody is royal you will be able to do that okay i am telling you that how are you going to do that now so students the thing is your brain has got many ways to acquire information use all of them and let your brain work okay the fun like the very duty of your brain is to work let it work by looking at different aspects of learning and now i'll be sharing that how are you going to develop it just look here guys read okay read anything when i say anything then i mean whatever interest you you can go for reading the magazines okay you can go for reading the self help books i taken the session wherein i told you what are the books that you guys can actually read or if you have got interest in any so any different sort of reading be it a spiritual reading okay or be it a materialistic reading as in fiction or non fiction go for it read newspapers but guys i would tell you to avoid reading the first page of the newspaper because there is a lot of negative news that we have got these days so try and avoid it okay go for editorial pages okay like the editorial pages which have been actually i mean the articles which have been written by the editors okay because the reason here is that you will look at the words the words that are being used there you will look at the words that are so very much contextual as i told you guys a lot of students what do they do they think that learning five words from dictionary on a daily basis would help you no it will not you have to be very journal about the language okay the more practical you will become about english your fluency will come in your communication will become better when it comes to using the language english also you will become good in your academics automatically right so read it guys and anything that has easy access so if you want to go for any sort of reading you can go for it guys make sure you are learning from it that is the best way guys i also develop myself that way only this is the easiest way we can go for obviously i understand like reading in the very first go will make you like bored 
you will feel okay i'm getting bored i cannot go more i had i cannot do more than that then we have another sort of things that you can go for okay we have another another uh, criteria we have another platforms that can be used in order to develop it okay guys see when you are reading guys you note a lot of things okay you note punctuations when i tell you all to read the very chapters which is there in your books that the basic idea i mean the basic motto is because i want all of you to give a very focused reading guys you learn a lot like when i am saying no you learn a lot i actually mean it guys because this is how anyone can actually develop the habit of reading and also they would also improve in a super great manner okay everyone and i'll be telling you that ritika don't be worried about that i'll be telling you that how are you supposed to experiment okay everyone yeah prithi you should be going for that okay ritika i'll be telling you okay and then students what is the next thing right writing will make it so very much easy for you to understand how well you are doing see you can write journals you can write your personal blogs this is so easy okay and students you can like for example if you are posting any of your photos on any of the social medias like for example you are posting a photo on instagram you are posting a photo on your facebook okay just don't post it blindly write something do not copy the quotes from anywhere write something on your own you will become creative in writing okay but this step the step of writing it should come after your reading habit guys because once you start reading you understand that when it comes to any entertainment when it comes to politics when it comes to business or when it comes to fiction or horror uh, like horror fiction or mystery books then what is the style of writing style of writing would be known to you you would become familiar with it all right you would start feeling that yes this is the word that must be very much contextual here because students this is not the right thing that you are learning some words from the dictionary and you try to fit it uh fit the word anywhere that is not the right thing guys all right because a word has got different contextual meanings okay there is always a context okay because a word can have like multiple meanings but unless and until you are not using it in the correct manner in a given sentence there is no value of your sentence or your word it doesn't make any sense guys all right now yeah that is right rudam that's very right okay Hi Shubhi, I'm very well. I hope that you're good too. So, students, here the thing that I'm trying to tell you is that that you can write your views or opinions on any trending topic as well. That is also very nice. Write it for your own self. Okay, keep it very journal. Don't think that I have to show it to someone or anyone else. You can ask your parents, your siblings, or your elders to check it if you have written it correctly or not. And it will take only five minutes for them to check it out. Okay, it will not take more than that. i am sure guys that you can go for all these things because this is going to be so helpful okay this is what i am telling you nikhil the best way to improve your vocabulary is to start reading you note a lot of words make a note of your own keep it very journal okay don't don't be very hard on yourself don't be very harsh on yourself whatever word you are coming across try to look for it try to look for the meaning okay try to use that in your sentences the contextual sentences it should make some sense Okay, everyone. Yeah, Ritam, that's a very good habit. All right, should be there is no special class as of now. I'll share the schedule either uh by Friday this week or uh by Monday next week. Okay, everyone. Yeah, that's good, Shreya. It's very good. That's good, Nikki. That's very amazing. Okay, you should keep polishing it. All right, everyone. I hope this is so very much relatable to each one of you. Right, guys. this is very right right that you have to go for something creative okay students if you have to develop yourself no you have to do it i mean you have to uh, put in the efforts i can tell you what must be done but you have to do it on your own i can make you understand but you have to practice on your own and you have to do this dedicatedly very much needed okay and students watch watching is something that will make you really really knowledgeable in terms of the speaking manner that is very much needed okay see if you are looking you can watch international news okay whatever broadcasting it is if it's american if it's australian watch it but do not go for the accents okay that shows that you are being fake in speaking keep your accent whatever it is but just listen to them listen very very carefully okay be very careful when you are listening because you know what when you listen subconsciously your vocabulary and the knowledge will keep on increasing you know that you have got two minds right everyone i am sure everyone is aware of it 
subconscious mind and conscious uh, your conscious mind so conscious mind would be listening to it but subconscious mind would actually be learning it and that is what is important students like i can actually get into you all if you guys are going to follow what i'm telling you right now you guys would actually excel in the correct manner in the correct direction because students in your work culture the entire scenario is different okay you guys are in your school you are following your curriculum that is very good that is very needed and that is the actual step that can make you reach your goal and that can make you reach to the work culture but in the work culture the world is actually in a very great competition there's a lot of competition out there i can tell you this you have to excel your skills you have to polish your skills and for that start practicing whatever i'm telling you all okay because you know like in your work culture this could be a case that your boss or your manager is asking you to present something all right and there if you are unable to show your skills if you are unable to show your language and you are unable to convey your idea by using a global language english then you are of no use there okay you won't be given the importance there all right and this is a very practical thing i'm telling you all right now okay i hope everyone will agree to this right you will agree or not come on you must have your elders you must have your parents like who actually guide you for all these things you must have your brothers and sisters right they tell you this right mirza i'm sharing my experience with all of you today like whatever i have created the content for all of you this is all from my personal experience okay that is how i developed it all right rishav i am aware of the words okay but i go with my original accent okay everyone making sense to all of you right yes or no right so yeah students just do that okay like watch news and one thing is it will make you knowledgeable second thing is you will actually note their tone of speaking okay there is always a tone of speaking okay you should know that when you are going high with your tone and when you should lower your tone you will learn a lot of things guys like practical things teach you in a super great manner second thing is go for english movies go for english documentaries or english shows because they will tell you what is the style of delivering any of the speeches that you want to tell okay everyone that will tell you that how to communicate well what are the social criteria of communicating with your friends with your parents or when you are in any social gathering that will teach you a lot of things basic thing is if you want your very vocabulary your speaking skill to be increased try to watch okay just question yourself if you are watching if you are reading if you are writing and keep it very journal guys okay do not go with such a criteria okay i want to go only for news or i want to go only for political news or i want to watch only english shows go for movies as well okay movies which are actually very good there are so many documentaries there are movies on the life of great personalities that will teach you that how did they le- uh, live their life and what are the different worlds so you can actually work simultaneously on a lot of things go for it okay everyone yes very good very good rishav that's good okay that's very right okay should be i'll have the very discussion today don't be worried about it okay everyone this is important go for it guys and then listen listening is super important okay listen to the audio books you know there are a lot of audio books these days in my times it wasn't really the case otherwise i would have definitely gone for it but i would suggest to all of you there are a lot of audio books if you think that reading is something which is a bit boring for you though it shouldn't be but then in that case you can go for audio books okay you can listen you can listen that what is the tone that is being used you will come to know a lot of words you will listen carefully and you will notice that she spoke in this and this tense this is how a story must be told when we are talking about future or when we are talking in past or when we are talking in present scenarios or when we are talking about any imaginative world you will learn a lot guys okay and podcast from english native speakers this is very important guys you can go for podcast i mean podcasts are the basically what are podcasts can you please tell me guys come on tell me what are podcast can you tell me come on this is easy okay not that difficult how to improve handwriting nikhil start practicing writing you will it's all about practice it will be improved okay yeah that's right that's right very good you should do that to the guys keep on learning from it okay obviously we feel very soothing we feel very calm we feel composed we feel good we feel light okay when we do all these things in a leisure time but just have a tendency to learn from it also okay that is the best way guys 
yeah basically the audio guys see podcast is something wherein a person is speaking and it's a more in the form of an audio okay so when you hear this from native speakers who are native speakers guys native speakers are the ones whose first language is english okay this will be very helpful for all of you because they will use it in a correct manner like in an amazing correct manner so you will get to know that how do they speak okay you will learn again your subconscious mind would start learning and this is important okay as i told you sir consciously you would be listening but subconsciously you will be learning and this will actually work okay and english music come on it's so interesting you can go for it okay again the concept is that you will learn so start doing that okay look for the books or look for such certain native speakers that you really admire once you'll start listening to them it it will become very easy for all of you to understand in the correct manner all right like at times i i come across some people that who can really understand indian english i mean the accent which is very much indian in a correct manner but they cannot understand the american accent correctly the reason is because they are not well versed with the different styles of speaking and different accents of speaking and you will come to know that and you can understand that well when you are in the habit of listening guys and that is important okay i hope you guys are understanding this right everyone this is important important right and students speak this is important speak with everyone you are coming across even if you are texting your friend on whatsapp write the sentence in english instead of hindi okay you will get into the habit of speaking english then like english would start getting in you and that is important okay if you really want to connect with the different parts of the world okay if you want to get well versed you know that we travel to different parts of the world now it's pandemic that is why we are not going anywhere but otherwise we keep on traveling i'm sure you guys love traveling right so we keep on traveling and there if you are you are in a foreign land and you don't know how to speak english you are in a problem what if you want to go to a store you want to buy something to eat and you are unable to convey to the person that i want to have this and this so how are you going to say it you are going to do i mean with the help of the body language we can do that but that's not going to work for you like throughout your life and for that you need to think from now so have conversation and interaction with your peers with your friends with your very colleagues do it guys okay obviously you guys are students right now so you can interact with your friends only try to get into conversation and never miss any opportunity okay do not try to miss if you guys think that you are wrong or you are speaking wrong don't be embarrassed this is your learning age this is completely fine i used to commit a lot of mistakes when i'm saying a lot i mean it guys okay i really mean it guys we commit a lot of mistakes that is very right come on guys like when a child like he or she it starts to work like like he or she falls a lot many times and then only he or she is able to work properly you see it so you have to get into the practice like you, how many times would you be wrong okay somebody would be keep on correcting you for five times six times seven times 10 times 11th time you would be doing it correctly on your own okay this is very important very good ritika you should do that students it is important because this is the right time this is the very right time now your career will just uh, keep on escalating okay you guys are accelerating towards it right you guys are moving towards your career and work culture today is totally different totally okay all right everyone so students go for it never miss any opportunity speak with whomsoever you are coming across and keep calm and speak english okay it's you will improve in a correct manner all right um uh, mirza i taken a session on this okay i had uh, told you about some of the books basically the thing is you can go for any book guys I, this is what i'm telling you do not restrict yourself vocabulary is something even today guys even today i keep on learning new words this is what life is there ample of words ample you cannot learn the words like the complete set of words in one go it takes your entire life at times but you should be very well aware of some basic words which are used so generally okay everyone so go for it guys all right right everyone making sense to each one of you yes or no come on are you all enjoying the session or not is it informative for you or not come on hit the like button guys come on okay yeah life is a learning process that's very good tigar yes very nice should be very good so student just keep calm and speak english okay speak english for your own good okay so that it doesn't become any problem for all of you later in your future because right now is the right and the correct time devote at least half an hour on a daily basis you can go for it okay everyone 
yes so students now experimentation is also important what i mean by experimenting is ritika you asked me this question when i say experiment that basically means that come up with certain new sentences of your own okay make new sentences if you come across any of a new word all right just try to use it in a sentence okay let others correct you let others say if you are right or wrong that will give you confidence also okay that will give you a confidence that yes i spoke correctly i did try something new and it actually went well that will make you confident okay and it will again boost you to now try for the another word confidence will keep on coming in, in in your very identity when you will keep on experimenting with different words what will happen okay at the most what can happen guys you may come up with wrong sentences all right but that is okay that is completely fine being wrong is fine you are learning right now so don't be afraid that what will he say or what will she say what will my parents say they will like i will be embarrassed in front of them that's okay they are your parents that's your family that is completely fine fine it is good to be embarrassed right now in front of your parents instead of like getting embarrassed later in your work culture in front of the entire board of directors okay that is completely fine make use of new words okay try new words formulate your own sentences okay try to learn as much as you can listen okay watch something okay talk to people write on a daily basis just half an hour that is okay even if you guys are spending 15 minutes that is also okay but at least pay efforts that is important guys all right okay see like for example like through experimenting let me give you a very good example today okay we learn different meanings okay and all the meanings like all the words they are different but they sometimes they have got different contextual meanings what is a contextual when i say contextual it means that in different context like in different scenarios the meaning of the sentence or the meaning of the words they keep on changing just look at this example which is right in front of you the door is open okay now if just look at the very situation that i'm telling you right now like for example if a student is coming to me for example ritika is coming to me and she is telling me ma'am i want to become an is officer okay so i'll be like very good ritika that's really amazing the door is open for you okay what do you what do you guys understand here here it means that ritika that this is completely fine the opportunity is open for you the door is open here mean that opportunity it's open for you all right but again ritika is coming to me the next day in my class and she is telling me ma'am i am feeling really very cold can we do something about it so i will say uh, yes ritika i can see the door is open all right so what i basically mean here here i it, it basically means that's because the door is open and it is very cold outside and the breeze it's just entering into the classroom that is why you're feeling cold so now the another action here i mean the meaning here is that since the door was open that is why they were feeling cold right so there are two contexts the same words but the meaning is different that is what english is all about guys you will get to know all these things when you will learn and start analyzing on your own correct everyone do you all agree do you all agree or not with these two contexts you understand that you experimented you learned something and then you tried using it in different ways and you get this knowledge when you start listening you start observing when you start gaining knowledge right everyone you get it i told you should be i taken the session i told you for uh, ren and martin right that is for advanced learning right you agree with it and then students if i am going to talk about um, like another thanks dream queen thank you so much and if i am going to talk about another third scenario okay like for example a student is coming to me and he or she is telling me ma'am your lecture is too boring i am getting bored so i'll be like okay that's fine the door is open so what does it mean i'll be like okay if you are finding it boring you can go out of the class the door is open just move out you all understand you all understanding this point or not yes everyone is it making sense or not right so this is what experimenting is guys this is what you guys would learn when you will start paying efforts this is what is needed guys this is what is actually needed right yeah words are called homophones priya that's a different thing here i'm talking about the contextual meanings okay here i'm talking that is a different concept homophones are the words which have got the same sound but different meanings here i'm just talking about one single phrase which can be used in uh, like multiple times in different context okay everyone right 
Okay, so guys, believe in yourself because this is a very famous quote by Oprah Winfrey who said, you don't become what you want, you become what you believe. All right, so here the thing is guys that you don't become like what you want. For example, if I want to be a doctor, okay, so I'm not becoming a doctor because I want it, but instead I believed in my own efforts. I believed in myself. So you become what you believe. So I believe that I had the capability or I had the ability to be a doctor. That is why I'm a doctor today. All right. Or if I'm saying that uh, like anyone who thinks that he can be a pilot or he can be an engineer or he can he or she can be anything. So that is not because you wanted it. You desired for it. No. The main thing is you believed in yourself. You thought that you can do it because you were doing efforts for that. That is what believing in yourself is. So students make sure and believe in yourself that you can learn it the right way. All you need to do is put the efforts. Efforts are needed. If there are no efforts, you can never achieve anything. Like take it in your academics, guys. If you're not reading the story, you cannot, you are not even capable of writing a summary. Okay, you just cannot do that. But if you know you have read the chapter, you have read it carefully, you know the vocabulary, you know the theme, you know the plot. All right, you are aware of all the figures of speeches in case of the poems. So you have this belief in yourself, okay? You have faith on yourself. Yes, whatever question would be there, I will be able to attempt it. So you will score marks in your examination, not because you studied, but because you believed in the fact that whatever you studied, you have studied it in the correct manner. All right, everyone, making sense? Yes, clear to everyone. So this was something very, very valuable I shared with all of you today. Make sure you guys are doing it. You can share your views with me. You can share your very learnings with me. Connect with me and you will be like guided further and mentored further. Okay, guys. So to speak confidently and to communicate confidently, observe. First thing. Then practice. All right. Interact with people. Become like have a proactive communication. Be a very active person in communicating. You should not communicate. You should not read. You should not uh, like uh, listen or observe just for the sake of doing it. If you're doing it just for the sake of doing like, for example, if I'm saying, okay, Ritika, you are supposed to read the chapter Triumph of Surgery, read it in 10 minutes and get back to me. So if she has completed reading in 10 minutes, just for the sake of the fact that ma'am told her, then that's a stupid thing. Don't do that. There's no need to do that. You need to learn it by heart. You are supposed to do it by heart. For example, if I'm telling to Shubhi that uh, Shubhi just complete this very particular assignment of all the questions and just listen to this very audio which I've given to you and, and get back to me after an hour. If she did it just for the sake of doing it because she wanted to score good marks, which is actually a priority, I believe. We need to score good marks. But guys, this is the right time that you learn everything by heart. Why do you need to avoid learning something that is actually important for all of you? Why do you need to do that? Okay, don't do that, guys. This is very important. This is the right time. If you understand what I'm saying, right away, right now, then your life will be sorted. Will definitely be sorted. Okay, so just don't be shy. There's no need to be shy, guys. Why do you need to be shy about something that will actually make your career? You need to be as uh, like shameful as you can in asking what is not clear to you. Hold your teacher or load your teacher with any number of doubts that you're coming across. Ask questions ask doubts okay make it very clear in your mind that you need to learn no matter what okay no matter like who is getting really angry on you that why are you asking the same question again and again if something is not clear to you ask ask as many times as it is possible but make sure that you are asking to learn and not just for the sake of making someone angry don't do that okay all right everyone yes yeah, Shubhi, that's very right, guys. If you really study by heart, no, first thing is you'll understand the concept in one go. Okay. And the second thing is it will definitely be in your mind for your entire life. Okay. It is not going to be the case that just because you are in your 10th grade and you studied it today. So now if I'm going to talk about any of the concepts or any of the formulas from your mass, you will forget it later in your life. That's not the case. We need to always study by heart. Okay, everyone. So students make sure that you guys are working on it see communication works for those who work at it 
okay and as i said communication can be in any of the languages but specifically if i am going to talk about english language which would help you later in your life to connect globally or to make people understand your things if their first language or if their common language is a uh, is something else sorry if their native language is something else then in that case communication is only going to work for those who will work at it if you are working in making your communication better when it comes to the english language then only it will work for you then only communication will be along with you so law of paying the price there is a law of paying the price guys which says if you want something you must pay the price this is a very common thing right like if i want to purchase a laptop i need to pay the price so similarly if you want to improve your skills if you want to polish your skills you have to pay the price that is you have to work at it you have to work for sure in order to achieve it so you need to put true efforts guys to improve your skills go for it correct everyone shruti i come live daily at 8 o'clock sorry at 2 uh, o'clock okay all right um i think that's not the case okay and that uh, like what i personally believe is that is not really the case the only thing is i mean english is really needed because it connects you globally okay it connects you with the people whose first language is something else like for example yours maybe yours can be hindi but uh, the person you are interacting with knows only bengali or gujarati or kannad okay in that case you need to know a common language and english is one of the common languages all right okay everyone so i hope you all enjoy the session share it with your friends subscribe the channel follow me on an academy app by the i'm there obviously by my name itself that is prakshar sharma and students take the right sort of subscription for yourself because this is going to be so helpful i'll make you all understand the subject in the correct manner go for it all the educators are there for all of you to help you in the correct manner Okay everyone I'll see you tomorrow now be there I'm going to have an interesting menti tomorrow that's going to be a bit of surprise for all the students from grade 9 and grade 10 be there be prepared and see you tomorrow till then take care have fun and stay healthy please okay all right bye bye take care